Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Um, I hope you're doing well, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. Yesterday was usually my filming day, Tuesday, um, and I film all my videos for the week, so they're all ready, all planned out. And I don't know what it was about yesterday, but there was just this general kind of, it was like a fail day. Everything went wrong. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> it was just it was just the worst day. So here I am today. And I thought, what can I do just to take a break from makeup application? Because sometimes I get in my head about it and I'm like, oh, this is too... So apart from makeup being a passion of mine and ghost stories and horror, I have another passion and that is shopping <laughs> and buying stuff. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is something I really like to do while I'm shopping, while I'm talking to you guys about beauty products, makeup. I like to find products that are slightly unique, slightly different, that I didn't know I needed in my life or wanted in my life. Need is such a big word at this time, but you know, you know. <laughs> That's how I explain everything I needed it. So I have a few products that I have really loved using that aren't always talked about or recognized. And I wanna talk about them with you guys today because I've fallen in love with them. And um, there are a few affiliate links and I will let you know what they are as I go and kind of how they came around. Um, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I love this when I don't. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. If you don't know who I am, if this is your first time here, my name is Robert, I'm a professional makeup artist here on YouTube and also in real life. And it is my goal to help you become a pro yourself or near enough, or just someone who's really good at makeup. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Um, usually I do do makeup videos and this is just like a little bit different for you. So let's get into it. But first thing I want to talk to you about is something you all went crazy for on Twitter. I mentioned in a tweet that I was using this new um, like anti-aging pillow. Um, and you were like, I need the link, I need the link. And I thought, oh no, let me save it. I've used it for a few weeks, but I wanna be 100% sure that I love it before I recommend it to you guys. So this is what I'm doing to you today. I'm, I'm giving it a big recommendation. So I was sent this pillow by a brand called Sleep and Glow. I love anti-aging products. I've been looking into anti-aging products for a while because I'm at the age where I'm not necessarily aging or anything like that, but like a few different things I've started to notice on my face it's public knowledge I get fillers um, in some parts of my face and I recently had um, my under eyes done just here to kind of um, bulk them out a little bit and the esthetician, esthetician? Who, who does my um, fillers said to me you can tell what side of your face you sleep on because the muscle there has built up um, stronger to support your weight and I was like oh ugh. So I've always been looking into these silk pillowcases and I've always been looking into like these memory foam pillows, but there's always something wrong with them to me. Silk pillowcases um, can be quite expensive. So that's always held me back a little bit. But when it comes to memory foam pillows or supportive pillows, I've been like, I don't want to use that. That looks so uncomfortable. And I've had just plain memory foam pillows that are hard and don't work for me and not comfortable and they smell funny. I was sent this pillow, which um, I have been using. It's a bit creased because I slept on it. So it has, I don't know if you can see, it has like this dip in the middle here. How do I? And then it also has like a dip on the side right here. So I'm a side sleeper. So this is the side that I use. So this pillow came with kind of instructions. And I was like, it's a pillow, how hard can it be? Inside, they kind of have this kind of adjustment plan to the pillow. Because we're used to like certain densities of pillows and certain heights and things like that. So it kind of tells you how to adapt to it. So I followed that plan. I didn't read much else into it because I was like, you know, let's just see if I don't age. That was my one expectation was, let's see if I wake up with less creases on my face in the morning. I've always found it hard to kind of get pillows that I find level out my posture when I sleep, if that makes sense. Like my head feels like with my pillows, I usually sleep with two pillows, one quite thick and one thin. My posture feels like it's in line, but I always wake up with a neck pain or a headache or something like that. I have a lot of tension in my neck. I edit videos all the time. I film videos, I do makeup, I, my back hurts. My neck hurts in general. Let me just tell you something, and this is no exaggeration. I've been sleeping with just this pillow and it has been the best, first of all, the best night's sleep I've had for a long time. I am a light sleeper. I sleep with earplugs every single night because the smallest noise will wake me up. I've been sleeping the whole night through. The whole night through, I don't wake up. It's so comfortable, it's so, I don't know what it is. It, and then and I looked in the book, I was like, why is this Why is this thing? And it, it says deep sleep. Didn't realize anti-aging pillows help your sleep. So other than that, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. My 
posture when I'm laying down is correct. I don't wake up with the creases around my neck here. I'm just extremely comfortable. It's it's absolutely incredible. I am a side sleeper, so I don't want to touch it because I have makeup on, but I sleep with my face here. So this whole area of my face isn't getting crushed up. Ooh, I might get makeup on it. This whole area of my face isn't getting crushed up. It isn't being pressed. But at the same time, I have this neck support. But oh my God, it is the best sleep I think I've ever had. I haven't necessarily noticed a difference in my face in terms of anti-aging because to be honest, I don't have wrinkles on my face just yet but for me it's about prevention but yeah anyway they emailed me and asked me how I was getting on with it and I absolutely love it and I said, even said to them I was like I, I'm actually to be honest with you I'm surprised I didn't realize I would actually love it so much so they have given me an affiliate link and a 10% off code so uh, things like this can be quite pricey I'll leave a link below for you the code is Robert10 for 10% off but I would not recommend this to you guys if I didn't believe it was one of the best things <laughs> basically so yes anyway okay let's move on Let's start with something else that's quite self-indulgent and um, quite nice in general. This is the Liz Earl Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion. I think I brought this up in a video before and it's one of my all-time favourite products that I sometimes forget I have. Here's what I use this for. Again, on Twitter, I was like to you guys, like anyone who creates content for their Instagram or their YouTube, you're constantly putting on makeup and taking it off and putting on makeup and taking it off. In the day, I'll film like four videos and two of them could include eye makeup where I have to keep taking off my makeup and then reapplying it. And I was like, what do you guys do to help soothe the eye area and repair the eye area? And there were some really good like techniques and things like that. And then I totally forgot I had this. This is like ice in a bottle. It is absolutely incredible. I love Liz Earl anyway as a brand, but this on just cotton pads or something like that, or reusable cotton pads, just press on the eye. It's the most soothing, most relaxing, um, like revitalizing feeling on the eyes. It is absolutely incredible. If I've had a stressful day, or I've washed my face, or like I said, taken off my makeup, like my eyes are stinging, or I just I feel under the weather. I'll be using this because I'm not feeling great at the moment. This is a godsend, like the feeling of the eyes. It's just like a little moment for yourself where you can just hold these on your eyes. And even if it's just for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, it just feels incredible. It just feels so nice. So if you have quite a sensitive eye area, you take off your makeup quite a bit, let's say you create content for like whatever, that's such a healing, nice feeling on the eyes. I absolutely, absolutely love that product. It's such a, um, not a necessity, but nothing in this video is, um, but it's something that you should definitely think about getting if you have quite sensitive sore eyes. Okay, moving on to the next product. We have here two brushes from Sigma, and they're both precision brushes. We have the Edge Precision and the um, 4D HD Precision here. I'm a big fan of Sigma brushes anyway. These are my two favorite brushes um, from Sigma. So the 4D HD is almost like, I use this in another video, so maybe you've seen it already, but it's almost like this pyramid on the top here. So you have flat edges and a point right on top. This is absolutely incredible for concealer, around the nose area here, any little crevice on the skin where you really need to get right in there. If you're someone who color corrects, if you're somebody who um, uses a decent amount of concealer under the eye, you know how much I'm not a fan of that, but you can get right into these corners right up here and really push that product into the skin. And what's good about it is that it's kind of concentrated in one area. So instead of, let's say a flat brush, which is quite big like this, can be quite, um, you have to kind of, you know, angle the brush to get in there, which you can absolutely do. This Sigma brush just feels so much more lighter and it's almost like the density is correct. It feels like a fingertip. So you're getting that really perfect pressure and you can get right in these little areas here. This one that's more like a triangle here and then flatter on these edges is perfect for going like around the brows, around the lips, for... whoops. I personally have my lips here. This is really weird. My lips, I feel like they kind of fade out into my skin. So a brush with precision and like a straight edge like that, I can go right around that lip and create that kind of defined edge. So these ones are really, really handy. Again, are they necessary? Not really. Are they incredible to have? Absolutely. And now I have them, I wouldn't be without them. I think they're absolutely incredible. I will link these below. Again, this this is an affiliate link as well. I always forget I have an affiliate link with Sigma. Robert 10, I believe it is, again, for 10% um, off. So next up is something, um, I don't know if everyone's like aware this product exists, but I find it incredibly useful, even more so than the regular version of this product. And that is half lash curlers. So these are tiny, tiny little lash curlers where you can kind of spread out 
your curling, if that makes sense. So you don't have to get it all right in one go. These are from Mac, but I'm sure I can find you some more affordable ones and, and leave a link below. I'll leave a link to these as well. Do they still make them? I don't know. So I have incredibly curly lashes on one side of my face because that's the side of the face I always sleep on. And over like years, it's kind of pushed my lashes like round like this. So <laughs> I actually use these. Somebody said the other day, they find it quite difficult to apply lashes because they have really curly lashes. I'm like, same, one eye I can just go bloop, one eye I have to go up and down and in. Well, listen, if you hold a lash curler, you guys can go so weird, upside down and curl your lash, upside down. You're gonna kind of backwards curl your lashes, so we're gonna go down a little bit more. Um, and I find it so much easier with a half lash curler. For all you makeup artists, so much easier to use this than doing it in one go with a big lash curler. If we compare the two sizes, like your regular lash curler and this, it's insane. The thought of this now, the thought of me using this on anyone, it scares me, you know? <laughs> and they exist, they're out there. I don't know where, but they are and I'll find them for you. <laughs> so next up is a brand and a product that I see a lot of, and I'm like, I'm not trying that just for principle. <laughs> it's the Fasali Liquid Powder. So I always see these like serums and things like that being dropped on people's faces, um, just being used so horrifically that I was like, I'm never using that brand. I'm not gonna use it because it annoys me. And I think they do it in their advertising as well. But when I saw Jackie Ina use this, I was like, I have to try this because you know there's this whole using powder before foundation technique, which isn't a new technique, it isn't something that's, um, you know, um, everyone's like, this new viral technique, it's not new at all, it's, it's, an, it's a very old, old makeup technique. Um, that people use all the time. Jackie Ina has been doing it for years. Um, Jordan Liberty has been using it for years. Wayne Goss mentioned it years ago. You know, loads and loads of people do it because it's a makeup artist technique. So the fact now that you can buy a liquid powder, I was like, okay, let me try it. Let me tell you something. Just yes, this is, <laughs> this is an absolutely incredible product. If you are oily, if you are extremely oily, I've been using this in my T-zone, not anywhere else, just the forehead and down the nose here. It is absolutely incredible. It keeps the oil away. Foundation doesn't look dry on top. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look textured. That's the one thing I was worried about. I was like, it's gonna look dry. It's gonna look crumbly. It's gonna look crap with my pores and things like that, but no. Absolutely amazing. Looks really smooth. The one downside, and it's not really a downside, it's just something you have to be aware of when you're applying, is actually, I'll do a little bit on the back of my hand, is that when you apply it to the skin, you have to be really careful and really mindful of where you are blending it. I'm just gonna not rub it in completely and just leave it on my hand for a second. Because, so I used this on my skin just with no makeup on because I just wanted to see how it mattified my skin. I did like my normal day, got on with stuff. And then later on in the day, I was in the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I had like this ring of white around my nose. It looked like, you know, like when you brush your teeth and you get toothpaste on your lip and you don't notice and it dried out. And I was like, what is that? And I realized I had used this serum and maybe I hadn't rubbed it in properly and I accidentally got some around my nostril. So, I had noticed that when it dries and sets, it does dry to this white kind of texture. I believe it's because it has clay. So you do need to be aware of where you're blending it at the time. I actually saw somebody in a video on Instagram recently apply this product, a circle here, a circle here, and a circle here, didn't rub it in properly and left it to dry white on their skin and then went over it with foundation, which is the wrong technique to use it anyway because it's not benefiting your skin because it's just sitting on top of your skin. So I'm gonna let that dry in my hand and we'll come back to it a little bit later. Um, and I'll just show you what I mean. So just bear that in mind. So there's a few things I wanna show you next that I'm gonna kind of group together. They're all Korean beauty. You guys know how much I love my Korean beauty. And you may have seen these products um, a few times. I'm loving at the moment products that group your whole look together. Um, kind of in one kind of case, if that makes sense. So there's a brand called Blessed Moon, and I'm almost embarrassed to show you this because it's kind of dirty, but it comes like this. And it basically has your conceit, oh, that's got a hair on it. Mm. Okay, please ignore how dirty it is. It has a concealer, it has a blush, it has a, um, eye, like two eyeshadow colors, one's a highlighter, one's like a little bit deeper, and it has a lip product here, and it kind of combines a whole look in one. It also has, just while you're on the go, an eye pencil, you can get a brown or a black one, and then it also has an applicator here as well, which I don't use too much because products like this I can use with my finger. But these are interchangeable, so they do pop out, and you can get like different colors to put in there. I'm also just gonna show a new one because I bought one. <laughs> 
When I find something I really like, I don't know about you guys, but I panic and multi-buy. This one is pink packaging, but it's the same colors inside. Um, I believe it's a brown pencil that this one comes with, and then that's it, applicator so you can just slide into there. I just think it's perfect. If you don't wear that much makeup and you just wanna be like on the go, let me touch up my face. This is a really great little product um, to use. Going on from that as well, you may be familiar with the brand Skin Food. They make some really nice skincare. They also do um, makeup as well. And this is the Lips and Cheek Trio. Sorry about the fingerprints. This is absolutely amazing just to add a little pop of color to the lips. So it's a multi-use product you can use on your cheeks, on your lips, cause it's called Cheek and Lips. But it's long lasting, it's hydrating on the lips and it's just easy to use. It's a really easy product. So thank you can keep on you all the time just as like a quick touch up i really really like that they do different colors as well i think there's more plummy colors there's more pinks um but that again is like a whole look in one if you wanted to i mean it wouldn't last a long time you can even use some on the lids it's up to you what kind of look you're going for just quickly let's come back to that powder um serum the fasali one this is how it's kind of set if you don't rub it in properly um and then once it's that you can't really get oh you can't really get it to rub in once it's set like that um so yeah, just be wary that you're blending it in. Okay, the last thing I wanted to speak to you guys about is something I want to make a video on, but I'm waiting till summer and seeing if we can actually leave the house yet, um, is SPF after makeup or sunscreen, things like that. I have got different levels of sunscreen coming, but I just wanted to show you guys the SPF 30 from this brand, Sole, Soleil, or Soleil, something French, something French and beautiful I, I can't pronounce. So this is a broad spectrum SPF 30, and it says you can kind of reapply every 80 minutes, but this is a makeup setting spray. It's also a cruelty-free and vegan brand as well. So on her website, this is advertised as a makeup setting spray with SPF, which I really, really like for four off. It does have quite a strong smell, um, but it's really, really a nice strong smell, but it doesn't leave any white on the on your clothes, which is something I was really concerned about. I um, I don't know if you guys remember, MAC released um, an SPF 30 Fix Plus, and it was the worst. It left white kind of powder everywhere, considering I wear only black all the time, and um, that isn't really something I like. So I gave this a go, used this on my skin, and I absolutely loved it. You couldn't feel it. There was almost definitely like a tightening effect on the skin. As an oily person, I don't really mind that. I quite like a tight finish on the skin. <laughs> but yes, for something that you can reapply over makeup over and over again, if you need to, this is absolutely incredible. Was it a little bit pricey? Yes, it was. But do I value my skin and my face? So it's definitely something I would consider getting. I'm going to spray a little bit now just so you can see it's more like a fine mist. And it doesn't dramatically change the look of the skin or anything like that. The one thing I would say about spray SPFs is, um, especially when they're quite fine in terms of being a mist, is you can't guarantee that it's gonna cover every single part of your face. So either you have to use quite a lot or you have to be quite wary of where you're spraying. I really like it, it has a strong smell, but it's a nice smell. And then I actually got the SPF 50 um, for the body as well. I use SPF 50 on my face every single day. I use this um, Japanese sunscreen underneath my makeup from Biore. Um, because it's SPF 50 PA++, so it's the highest, highest protection. Um, and it's like a gel, and because I'm oily, you can see it's almost watery. It just completely disappears, doesn't interact with my makeup, doesn't do anything else. So to have something I can use on top that's equally as light and equally as like refreshing is something I really, really like. So yes, that was all my completely unnecessary products that you didn't know you needed. Um, <laughs> but they are incredible products. And products are actually kind of changing the way I do my makeup or, or you know, sleep or take off my makeup or, or look after my skin. So I hope you saw something you really, really like there um, or have some ideas or something you may want to look into in the future. Like I said, I'll leave any links below. I'll clearly mark if it's an affiliate link. I just want to say, if you guys don't want to use an affiliate link, just Google for products and find it. You know, <laughs> you don't have to use an affiliate link at all um but yes i'll leave discount codes below as well um yeah let me know if there's anything you guys like that you think is maybe a hundred percent unnecessary where you've bought something and thought to yourself but do i really need that you know <laughs> let me know below i would love to kind of look into that myself and see what i can get for me um yeah thank you so much guys thank you for joining me i hope you are all safe and well thank you guys bye